In the window is an assembly containing a grounded hinge body and a free-floating hinge pin that needs to be constrained to it. In this exercise, you will constrain the pin to the hinge body using the Between Two Faces option of the Joint command. Begin by selecting the Joint command. On the Ribbon, Assemble tab, Relationships panel, select the Joint command. The joint type is automatic by default. For this exercise, leave it that way. The first origin indicator is active. Select the center of the pin by hovering the cursor in the vicinity of the pin center. When the glyph is in the center, click to accept the selection. Next, right click and select between two faces. The second origin indicator is now active, and you need to select the first of the two planar faces on the hinge body. Because the hinge body is symmetrical, you could choose either the inner or outer faces. Select the far inner face. The face highlights, and now you need to select the second planar face. Hover the cursor in the vicinity of the second, hidden inner face, and wait until the Select Other display appears. Scroll through the selections until the correct face appears, then select it. Lastly, you need to set the origin on the second part, in this case, the hinge body. Hover your cursor over the hinge body opening, and a glyph appears between the hinge body's leaves. Click to set the second origin. Now, align the pin to work geometry. Select the first alignment button on the align bar of the mini toolbar. Expand the origin folder of the pin part and select the XY plane as the first selection. Notice that as you move your cursor around the hinge body, the pin rotates to give you a preview of what selecting that particular plane will achieve. Select the bottom of the hinge body as the second selection, and then click OK. The pin is now fixed in place and aligned to its own work geometry.